For this video, I'd like to talk about quadratic word problems, specifically when they're in vertex form. So with these problems, my general strategy is to first skim through the problem, noticing the equation, and ultimately what I want to do first is figure out what do these letters actually represent. And this is what I'll generally do in most word problems. When variables are defined and used, the first thing I want to understand is what those variables represent. So what does x represent and what does h of x represent? And once you understand the variables, then the question tends to be a little bit more straightforward. So in the second sentence here, they tell us the ball's height, because we are throwing a ball to a dog. And before I get into the details, anytime we throw something and we assume that there's no air resistance, it would actually travel in a perfect parabola. Now, of course, on Earth, there is air, so it wouldn't be perfect. But in all these problems, we're just going to assume that there is no air resistance. And so this line here, the ball's height in meters above the ground, x seconds after he threw it is modeled by the equation. So x, notice the unit of seconds after that. So x is the time, and I usually like to put the units, so that's in seconds. And then h of x, it looks to be the ball's height, and that's in meters above the ground. So this is the height of the ball, and it's in meters. Now, once we understand the variables and we've seen the equation, now we can go straight to the question. What is the height of the ball at the time it is thrown? So with these problems, you're going to come up with three basic scenarios. The first scenario is when the time or the x value is zero. So you would substitute x equals zero into it and figure out what the height is. The other scenario in similarity to this one is when the height is equal to zero. And in this one, they want to find out what the time is. So maybe this is what is the time when the ball hits the ground? Whereas this one is what is the height when the time is zero or when the ball is first being thrown, which is exactly the scenario we have. So the time it is thrown, that's essentially when we start the stopwatch. And so our time is zero here or zero seconds or our x value is zero. So we're looking at this first scenario. Now, I did mention there is a third scenario, and that's when you need to find the vertex. So that's whenever you see the max, the minimum, the least, the greatest. You see words like these. Usually, if you see one of these words, that's implying that we need to find the vertex. So with this problem, we know we want the height. So we're trying to find h of x. Notice that the units are meters, which is the units for our height. And we know that we're looking for that height when the ball is thrown, so when x is equal to 0. So all we have to do is go to our function and plug in 0 and figure out what the height would be. So let me make some space so we can do that. And we're just trying to figure out what h of 0 is. So we have minus 0 minus 2 squared plus 16. And so that's negative, negative 2 squared plus 16. And minus 2 squared minus 2 times minus 2 would be positive 4. But then we want to take the opposite of that. So this becomes minus 4 plus 16, which would simplify to 12. So it looks like when the ball was thrown, it was at 12 meters. And this should make sense because he is standing on a balcony when he throws the ball to his dog.